Hey, what's up, my scrubs? Ooh, starting chapter three. Cute girls battlefield. Welcome back to Danganronpa with girls. Yes, that's what the game's called. You guys smashed eleven thousand. How many? Okay, sorry. Story is coming up, but wait. Makoto. Gonzi, please show how many comments you guys hit last episode. That was a complete accident. I didn't realize I said to hit. 11,000 comments, but you guys hit more than 11,000 comments. So what's our next goal? <laughs> if you want to see next episode of Danganronpa with some girls, happen to be going through despair. All right, all you got to do is leave a comment like you never commented before and give your mom a hug. 11,000 hugs and smash 11037 likes. Thank you. You got it? You got those the guidelines? All right. Now we can finally continue on. So last episode, we met Makoto. Actually, that was really like a hype moment. If you guys missed it, be Come sure to check it out. Is that really you? It's her brother! I always get happy when I get to see my, my boy Makoto. I wonder if we'll get to see him in V3. Oh god, I hit my phone. Just bought that phone. I knew it. You're... You're Makoto, right? Makoto, we need your help. Joko is attacking Eddie, again. Right? I mean, honestly, she is, I think. Mister. We need your credit cards. You're safe. I'm so relieved. I was worried the whole time. Same here. I wish I knew you were all right. I mean, I thought you had already died. You, well, I think our parents are dead. <laughs> oh, Makoto, I'm so glad you're alive. I thought you hated him. I'm I thought glad you too, along. Kumaru. I thought I'd never see you again. This is wholesome. But I'm relieved to find out you're safe. Yeah. Hey, what about Dad and Mom? Are they with you? Huh? I see. And you don't know either. I was hoping that you would. Then you don't know either. <laughs> they went off to they went off to the Bahamas to get away from you guys. <laughs> they just have uh, It's that, gonna be all right. Imagine how lucky you be. Don't worry. I'm sure they're just fine wherever they are. Before the bears attacked. But you have no proof of that. They could be. Don't say There's it. No proof Shh, they're not okay it. either. So let's just believe in hope for now. Yeah, if you say so. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. I never thought I'd hear you say something like, "Really?" Well, he, he's the hope well, man. Being positive is like my only <laughs> See? Good point. Even he said it. He's He's like, "I literally might as well be named Hope." But more importantly, where are you right now? What's going on over there? Send a helicopter now. I I'm at a building called Toa Tower. I was told I could use the communication device here. Oh, wait, that reminds me. Why are you answering? Uh, what do you mean by that? I mean, wow, what I a bad sister. Future Foundation. Why are you the one who responded? You don't even know his occupation. You really don't know? Don't know? A about what? I'm with Future Foundation, Branch 14. That's my division. Okay, so we're getting some nice backstory. Toko, is this true? Toko? Wait, what? Toko is there with you? Oh god, not her, <laughs> he says. <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? You disappeared. Everyone was so worried about you. Oh, this is why she was so nervous. Worried? Like anyone would actually care if an intern went missing. You know I would never stay behind on a mission like this. Especially with Master going. So you tagged along without orders. Well, I figured that was pretty much what happened. Well, now she ain't getting hired. Wait, hold on. You two know each other? That's why Toko knew about me from the beginning? Yeah, she didn't tell you that? Of course oh, not. <laughs> sorry, did I not? Guess it slipped her mind. No, you very much didn't. Yeah, that sounds like Toko. Anyway, I'm glad you two are together. I'm just with her because I have no choice. Your whiny little sister balls when she's alone. <laughs> she so does. basically, I'm just a babysitter. I guess this will prepare me for my future with Master. Hey, hey! I wasn't bawling! Don't listen to her, Makoto! So, where is Byakuya? Master is safe. Safe, but captured by the enemy. I'm, I'm telling you right now, even the voice actors probably have trouble saying Byakuya. 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 Just as I thought. Future Foundation's intel said as much. I just didn't believe it. I mean, Byakuya? Captured? With those long legs? <laughs> Seriously. He was probably taken by surprise by some fiendish cowards. There's, a There's no other phone. way. It's a fly sent by Junko. Ugh. 
The son of the noble Togami family brought to the position of a mere hostage. Sounds like the situation is pretty serious. So serious the world is gonna collapse. The ultimate affluent progeny is in danger. Oh, no. Ultimate. Oh, yeah. Byakuya Toko and I were all classmates at Hope's Peak Academy. Okay, Wait, so they're filling her in. You... You didn't know that either? No, I didn't. Well, now's the time for your brother to explain it. Here's your chance. Now you can show off your utter lack of presence with your brother complex. All right, I don't think, I mean, this is, if it's just gonna recap, I'm just gonna skip this. We already know this. Uh, I do not have a brother complex. I don't really know where to start. We weren't just regular classmates. We were trapped inside Hope's Peak Academy during the tragedy. We were oh. forced to kill each other. I remember all so well. I still think Dagarapa 1 was the best one. A lot of our classmates ended up killing each uh, other. Uh, right in front of our eyes. Why, Gay? Why you guys remind me? Even after all this time, the memory, the despair, I can still feel it. It wasn't just some movie or game? Did he like say, oh, I'm just gonna go out? It Weren't you wondering movie. where he was? It was reality. It actually happened. So did that happen during the year that she was trapped? Uh, it was all broadcast live as part of the tragedy. Yeah, hey, you didn't see the TV? The mastermind behind it all wanted well, to spread wait a despair throughout the world. So was she watching TV, watching them do this? And she, did, and she thought it was a game? They wanted to show the whole world. Or something? The students of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbols of hope, falling to despair and death. Well? No chiming in with a remark this time? But wait, you two are still alive, so... Yeah, we were able to defeat the mastermind who planned the killing game and survive. But Joko's now back and we need your help! We couldn't save everybody. And your social security number! <laughs> and after that, we left Hope's Peak Academy and went into the outside world. But outside, it was more horrifying than we expected. It was easy to get discouraged, but by supporting each other, the friends who survived hell together. You we coward! Tell me where Aoi is! Soon we came under Future Foundation protection. We chose to lend ourselves to the cause to fight against the remnants of despair who are still trying to spread despair to the world. Right, Toko? <laughs> well, she's crying. <laughs> Toko, are you crying? Was it like flashbacks or what? Like she's getting flashbacks? Of course flash I am. Oh, yeah, she is. Remembering wow. Remembering the suffering and heartache. Oh, don't cry. Oh, is that a gold monokuma back there? Or just notice. I see. I didn't know about that at all. I never thought something like that was going on. Where were you? You guys are so amazing. I gave up immediately, but you guys... You guys fought. You confronted the problem. I guess that's why you've changed. No, not really. I was always being saved by everyone else. Huh. You saying that? Your brother got so hyped up from being declared the ultimate hope. He was always dragging everyone along. So eager about everything. Hey, I wouldn't say I was hyped about it. He was like, let's go. Oh, but you don't deny the dragging everyone along part, huh? Jeez, take it easy on me. All right, I'm liking the communication between her and uh, her and Makoto. You've definitely changed. You too, Komaru? What do you mean? I haven't changed a bit. No, really. You really changed. Might be weird for your little sister to say this, but you seem more mature now. Just from this conversation, I can tell you're more reliable than you used to be. What does that mean? Well, I don't really think so, though. But me? I haven't changed at all. Not since my imprisonment. Listen, about that. There's something I need to apologize for. Oh, was he was he responsible for that? Mm -hmm. Apologize? The reason you were in prison there? Yeah, I seen that coming. It's because of us. Makes if sense. If we weren't chosen by the mastermind, you wouldn't have ended up like this. Huh? What do you mean? You aren't the only prisoner in Toa. With you is everyone who was relevant to our classmates. In order to make us commit murder. Oh, that's oh, but but the parents. The Where's mastermind the parents? abducted people relevant to us and tried to use them as a motive. Okay, okay, so they actually really worked. Wow, you know, it took a, a whole nother game, but we finally we realized to it. Stop it before it got that far. 
but the theme was killing among loved ones. The mastermind was going to force us to watch you kill each other. Yeah, so one of these to make girls us really lose all hope. One of these girls was actually the the remember the last episode? See, this is why you guys need to be watching, but the last episode we saw that like I mean she was kind of a funny looking girl, uh, with the ears. She was one of the idols on there. The video of you are And then that's where we first saw her. Abducted was used for motive as well. But that was just the beginning. The mastermind was planning something far more cruel. In the end, the mastermind was swallowed by the despair, and that motive was left unused. But even after that, I was still in prison. Probably the doings of the remnants of despair, trying to succeed the mastermind's will. Because of them, we were totally in the dark about where the captives were being held. But a few days ago, Future Foundation received an anonymous tip. We were told captives from the killing game were being held in a certain apartment in Toa City. Well, honestly, I mean, she had it really good. She had food and everything. Like, she wasn't even in danger. So that's why Biakuya and the others were at my apartment. But because of those rioting little brats and their machine, the plan for saving the captives was scrapped. And even Master, the protagonist, was captured. Makoto, you've already heard the I like ones how it's causing all the riots together. here are Monokumas, right? So, did you figure out what the deal Please is with these Monokumas Please tell me why. Yet? No, we still haven't figured that out. Huh? Jeez, Future Foundation's useless. The Monokuma riot starting at the exact same time as the rescue operation. Strange. Like I said, it's no coincidence. It's conspiracy. Someone setting up Future Foundation. Then that would mean the tip was a trap. Using the captives as bait to lure us oh there. Oh my god, so which one's us? Which one of the future foundation is us? Huh? An imposter. The captives aren't just bait. They're targets for the massacre game the brats are playing. Massacre game? They make hunting and killing the captives part of their little game to taunt us. Wait, does that mean the captives are the ones wearing wristbands like mine? Then Yuda and Hiroko and that man with the computer, they're... They're all captives? So it's only going to be the family members of everyone that took uh, part in the first game then? That makes sense. So who else are we missing? So we're going to meet someone from Biakia's family probably? Okay. Okay. Yes. There are people close to us. People who were imprisoned in Toa. <laughs> just like you. If we see one birth... birth I don't know what I was trying to say. If we see one buff person, we know it's Sakura's family. What you just said, is it true? You're involved in this massacre game too? Y yeah. They put a wristband on me and now I'm being chased by these weird kids. That's... And one of the brats who started this sick game said something interesting earlier. Something oh, yeah. about Big Sis Junko. What? Junko? You mean Junko and Oshima? If she's been dead and she's affecting like two games already. Junko... And Oshima. She's the mastermind behind Oopsie. the school. No, she's the mastermind behind the tragedy itself. And she has huge boobs. It's very important. Big boobs too. <laughs> it's very important Junko to the plot. I'm telling you. Known as the true ultimate despair. They're not. They're filled with despair. <laughs> she was our former classmate. But didn't you say earlier that you already defeated the mastermind? Yes. Junko and Oshima is dead, but it seems her memory is still alive and, and well, it's even in death. It. Junko and Oshima continues to influence the remnants of despair. She's become a martyr to them. Now she's even more trouble than when she was alive. It's like they worship her, like some big-chested despair goddess or something. Can you blame them though? Like I'm just saying. We did defeat her at Hope's Peak Academy, but well. Lately, I've been thinking she must have foreseen this possibility from the very beginning. Listening to you guys is... I just can't believe it's all real. Yes, her big boobs are indeed real. All right, Toka, Toka do, you, do you want to say something? Are you sure? What about Biakia, huh? No, not that part. But I get why you think this is all just fiction. Crazy kids are killing adults, you know? Yeah, things are just... So messed up here. Makoto, hurry up and get over here. Because of the wristband, I can't get out of the city.
If I leave without permission, it blows. But Future Foundation can remove the wristband, right? So please come save me. Kumaru. I can't. You can't. Oh, I can't see you, though. Huh? I, I can't... Can't what? Why do you think they're holding Master hostage? They don't want Future Foundation to interfere. Like taking hostages during a bank robbery. Master Byakuya is being used as a deterrent. Well, how do you even know he's I mean, captured? If Future Foundation came to this city, Master would be... You're just assuming. Then Future Foundation won't come save us? Then what am I supposed to do? Didn't I already tell you? There's no other way. You have to fight against those kids. Get rid of them, and you can save yourself and Master. That's impossible! No, it isn't. You have Master's gun, and I'm with you too. Yeah, you have a gun with the unlimited ammo, basically. But, but I, I can't take this anymore. <sighs> I just can't do it anymore. <sighs> okay. I'm not from Future Foundation or Hope's Peak. I'm just a normal girl who can't do it. Kamaru. Makoto, please, I'm begging you. Come save me. I told you, you can't. If they come here to rescue you, Master will be executed. Makoto, you better not come. If you even try it. I... I will... Whoa. I will kill your sister. Are, are we really gonna get that, to that point in this kill game? Him. Toko, I'm dead. That's Toko saying that. That's not even dang. She'll do it even she'll do anything for Byakuya. No, what bad timing. M Makoto! Hey! What happened? Well, that's gonna make us awkward now. Makoto! <laughs> I thought we were cool, Toko. What the heck? What is this? Why all of a sudden it out of battery? No, it can't be. That must mean they found us. Oh, they jammed it. Ah. Crap, here we go again. <laughs> uh, why is everything so bad? Just give what? us a break for a second. They're going to trap us. We gotta hurry and get out of here. But I haven't finished talking to my brother. Oh, yes, you did. Yes, you did. We can't get through anymore. And it doesn't matter anyway, no matter how much you talk. As long as Master is in their custody, Future Foundation cannot come to this town. But if it's Makoto... What? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we gotta repair the lights. Pitch black. Ooh, what is going on now? Toko, Does she calm sleep down. with the lights on? Don't panic. I'm just saying. I am calm. I've just been taking too many deep breaths. That's it. Just oh, lightheaded. Yeah, she's panicking. It's fine. We just gotta get out of here. Hurry or I'll stretch your cheeks out like rubber. Got it. Her worst fear. Okay, well. Oh crap, okay. Uh, I think we need detect. Oh, that actually doesn't help at all. Well, I guess I have to walk through the lights. <laughs> hey, I want one. It looks like she helped us, honestly. Give us, give us a glow stick. And a can, a free can at that. You can recycle that probably for like five cents. Well, at least it's gonna be a bit brighter now. Uh, that little brat. I'm I'm sure she knows how to get out of this place. Why'd she just hang that on her skirt? <laughs> what Let's the try following her footprints. Ah, okay. This paint. The hacking gun can see it, right? I just want some more of that story action. I was really excited about that. Shortcut! Got him! Didn't expect me to do that, did you? So dark! Let me out already! I feel like we're playing Bendy and Ink Machine now. What the heck? Ooh, present! That surprised me. I thought it was a Monokuma. Like, I need to know more about <gasps> Monokuma and, like, how his. He, how do you create all of these things and then spread it throughout the entire city? Like, I feel like it would be a freaking nightmare to do all this, but someone's doing it. Good God, if you're there. I could really use a flashlight. Close my uh -oh. eyes. This isn't good. <laughs> it's money. Oh, God, I told you. <laughs> Neko Nekomaru. Nekomaru? It's cute on the outside, but inside it's all slimy and yucky. If you let your guard down, it gets you close. It'll I'll, it'll eat you. Lure it out with gyoza food and burn it to ash with a fire attack. It might look like a cat, but it 
but cat food doesn't work, so pick up the right food. The real name is Grand Boy Sh Sherry Ludenberg? Ludenberg. But his name is Nekomaru. But is- was Nekomaru related to Celeste? By any chance? Because that was her last name, Ludenberg, right? Just saying. Is that their cat? I have so many questions. I'm sure you guys will tell me on Twitter or in the comments. Wait, what the heck are you doing? Are you doing a handstand? Totally random. Got him. Oh, now you can do something against the kids. You, I bet you know exactly where the exit is, right? T to tell me. And it took him so long to do this. I'm just saying. An emergency staircase right here? Thank God. Truly perfect for an emergency like right now. Let's hurry and get out of here. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Chill, kid! Wait, hold up! Oh! Holy crap, this game escalated quickly! This episode's interesting. Toko. Toko. Hey, Toko. Toko. Oh, here we go. Here we go, guys. You better listen well. <laughs> if you wash the same black pictures. clothes too many times, the color fades. But there's a way to combat this. It's a simple method. First, do the laundry like you normally would. Yes, do the laundry. Why is this a fantasy? Like usual. But before you rinse it off, add just a little bit of beer to the water. Oh yes, I will. Oh my god, I'll I better do that with my jeans. Thank anything. you. Thank you. And just like Yaku -ya. that, faded clothes can be fully restored. Oh, I'm starting to get better at doing laundry. <laughs> and I've learned a thing too. I gotta try that seriously. Thank you very much. I can be the perfect lifestyle for this. Toko, get a hold of yourself! Toko, you too thirsty. <laughs> what? What happened? You got knocked up out. We found the emergency exit, but it's blocked. Like, that was just a slap to the face. That she just blew brat. it up. She betrayed us! A little more and I would have blown up! So she I technically she saved- ally from the start! Yeah, so technically she saved her, huh? Sh shut up! This is your fault! Why is it my fault? You were the one who said you wanted to contact Future Foundation. And now this happened! Thanks to you, I got caught in this damn trap! Take some responsibility! Responsibility? Ugh, who cares? I don't want to hear your excuses. I just need some light, yeah? Light? More light? Ooh, light. hey, how convenient. <laughs> ah, the light! The light! She's like, Are you okay? She's like, couldn't breathe. No, I'm just happy. But you didn't have to scream about it. But still, it's good that we're finally outside. But now what do we do? Uh, I'm sure there's a way to get down. Uh, so high up. So scary. If we fall, we'll be squashed into jelly. Ooh, a ladder. That's convenient. But we gotta go the other way. I already know I'm missing something back there. You can't hide anything from me. What did I say? Can I push her off? Oh, <laughs> that would be funny. Okay, so we're actually only missing one character. Looks like we can get down with this ladder, but what floor are we on again? Better than being in the dark. Come on, let's go. Oh no, that music always means the stupid- Jachiro's not coming back, huh? Think he got beat by those two chicks? Well, not like I care. He did. I hate him anyway. Taro promptly got himself killed. Cut, ground down, crushed and stretched, squashed into feast. Poor little Taro. Even though I hated him. Anyways, Monica. Why are we not holding a funeral this time? He wasn't important enough. Oh, that. I got bored of that. Doesn't really matter. We can't even fill the coffin anyway. Well, well, if you got bored of it, guess we don't really have to. But, um, do you think Jachiro really died? You, I mean, they don't know this? I like, mean, I figured they were the ones doing this. Found his body, right? I was just, you know, a teensy bit curious. That's all. Oh, you were? Sounds like you're saying Monica is wrong. <laughs> you dare defy me? Huh? Like I said! Oh, God. You're Here we go. trying to say Monica is wrong! You're questioning Monica! I'm not sorry! Not at all! There's no way Monica could be wrong! And speaking of wrong, aren't the people who put 
put Worcester sauce on fried eggs just wrong? It's so obvious that fried eggs taste best when you drown it in maple syrup, yeah, right? Of course, everyone mm. knows this. Look, I was just a little curious, that's all. And you're next, you're I next. I'm just a little out of place right now is all. I'm just a teensy bit curious, like about why mailboxes are always white or how enemies become friends right after a fight. You don't have to worry about things like that. I, I'm sorry. It's not like I have bad feelings toward Monica or anything. So please, please don't hate me. Keep loving me forever and ever. Yep, yep. I already know that. It's not something to apologize over. I know you're just a sweet, gentle little girl. And what huh? is she gonna do? Is she gonna run you over with her wheelchair? I'm just saying. Gentle? <laughs> Kotoko, you are so cute. As always. The director, the producer, the sponsors. Everybody was super happy. And now, like this is going. there's another business you have to attend to. And your mom's gonna come with, okay? It's going to be all right. Kotoko is just so sweet. Everyone will be gentle with you. Very, very gentle. I don't know about you guys, but I don't trust adult H at all. N no! Uh, I don't want gentle! Oh, you can't say that word around her. Oh, God. Uh, I'll do anything, please! Just not that! Uh, I, I'll do my best with singing and acting, so please! Uh, anything! Oh, oopsies! I totally forgot. Gentle. Is a <laughs> oh, bad, dude. Bad word. Whatever for happened to her? You know, I'm not gonna make assumptions, but uh, freaking Monica knows like what what triggers them basically, and she like purposely. Oh my god. So that's probably how she has like I don't know. Jeez. Maybe that's how she like. Up like this. Makes them like servants or something. I don't know. Demons are the worst. So yeah, it is quite obvious that oh How can it be so oh blurry? I don't like this girl. It's obvious that like something bad has happened to all all the kids and obviously and it's an adult. What did the fly get out of here, please? Something bad happened to all the kids and that's why they don't like adults. Just stop it. Ugliness, noxiousness, bad smell, boringness to their own damnation. Even boring. Dude, this girl is. It's okay. Monica won't be gentle. You don't make any sense. Demons are filthy, smelly, ugly chunks of meat. More worthless than dirt and disgusting. Filthy demons deserve a disgusting, filthy death. They should all choke on their own poop and suffocate! They should oh, just come hold on. it in and hold it and hold it until their intestines <laughs> explode! Jeez, Kotoko, that's so gross. Um, what are you guys doing? Ah, oh, it's Nagisa. Now's not the time for banter. We've got a lot of work to do here. Oh my, oh my. Are you perhaps jealous? W what are you talking they about? Keep what do I have to be jealous they of? They keep assuming that Nagisa likes her, it's but he like doesn't. He's like, no, I you. don't at all. Is that what you're trying to say? Like I said, it it's not that at all. What do you mean, jealous? Yeah, Monica, you're so innocent. I could just put whipped cream on you and eat you up. <laughs> I don't get it at all. And hey, more importantly, you mentioned there was work to be done. Did something happen? Yes, I've received a report from the Monokuma kids I sent scouting earlier. Those two schoolgirl demons are sending a communication from Toa Tower. Don't tell me they're trying to contact that demon society. Future Foundation. It's not a problem. I already scrambled their transmission. We also have a hostage. Future Foundation can't make a move regardless. And I have a plan. By taking advantage of those two demons, we can massacre all of the remaining free-roaming demons. You mean the resistance? As long as they exist, our paradise cannot be completed. We should take this opportunity. So is Byakuya really a hostage? Amazing. Or are they talking amazing. about Nagito? I don't really get it, but it sounds super amazing. Oh god. Well done, Nagisa. Hey, yank, yank her off the chair. Is that a skeleton on her back? W wait, Mata. Hey! I've never seen that. Hmm? 
What's wrong? It, it's nothing. Just... You, you're a little close to me is all. Aww. You're such a shy boy, Nagisa. No. Your plan. If it works, our paradise can finally be She's doing some tricks on that. And when that happens, the warriors of hope will level up to save you. Hmm. As our new leader, I will continue to have high expectations of you, sir. Y yeah. You're right. High expectations for me. Did you hear that? Our children's paradise of smiles is going to be ready soon. Silence? Hey, you're listening, right? Kurokuma? Kurokuma? Right. You can talk now. Oh, it's a black one. I know that word. Kuro means black. Oh, it's the boss one! What? So there's a white and a black one. It's still cursed though. Like he's not he's not supposed to be both colors. <laughs> or one color. I can finally talk! Finally! <laughs> he's got a Brooklyn, Brooklyn accent. Hi, hi, hi there! Give me a sausage pizza. <laughs> That was tough! I shall not be silenced! Not have to keep him quiet for that damn long! Damn! Even heck? someone extremely good at talking like me is already tired out from running my yap! It's like the hero is still in its child phase, but the warrior alien brother already showed up! Okay, so why is there a good and a bad one? So this is obviously the bad one. You can tell he's such a bad influence with his chains and his cigar. That example sucks! Damn this fatigue! I'd say I'm only about a third as sharp as usual. So anyway, the hell are we talking about? You saying something about making adults into sausages? Sausage. Gonna pull out the organs, grind them up, make them into yummy, cruelty-free cuisine, and then you gather them up, sell them in a supermarket, and become an urban legend. Huh? Now that sounds awesome. I want to see that. <laughs> and they're both, they both have an eye patch, huh? Really weird. So did they like fuse and that's how they made Monokuma? <laughs> I don't get it. We're not at the first floor yet? This is an emergency ladder. I'd like Why to know more about it halfway? though. Jeez, this half-assed ladder. Who, who, where, where is the person in charge? Looks like we gotta head back inside from here. Uh, you're saying I have to walk through that dark place again? We're already on the second floor. Just a little bit further and we're out. I might actually be cheered up a little. I'm not the shrewish woman I used to be. Shrew? Okay, Toko. Yeah, you know oh, what? Well, you know about I that? I don't think I'll rely on you anytime soon. <laughs> it, it's gonna be all right. She's like, you have it's some? It's just the last hope, that's <laughs> you all. You got some? The last hope? That's not reassuring at all. All right, well, crap, we got so much story. This chapter is so much more better than the other ones. Sure, we'll go with that. What's that over there? A power panel, right? And we'll hit that. <sighs> Finally, we're out of that horrible darkness. Yeah, all we gotta do now is get out of here. <laughs> but you won't. <laughs> <laughs> she did threaten to kill you, right? Oh, another challenge. Find the... A challenge? Again? Find the light in the darkness. If you type in the password on that laptop on the counter, the shutter should open. I feel like we've done something like this before. Yeah, just a few times. Leave it to me. I'm in my element. I, the Riddle Queen. Why would you want to give yourself such an embarrassing title? Okay, so I'm Probably sure we're gonna have to use to detect. Obviously, but does the room next oh. door have something to do with it? The light in the darkness. Find the light in the darkness. Hey, what are you making it dark for? Oh, it you, says something. You mess with me, Two five you? one nine zero seven. It, it's not like that. God, stop it with numbers. I don't need any more numbers. Bruh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, get off that dead body. Well, it's dangerous. It's <laughs> okay, challenge. If you want to get past, you gotta win at high seek the 
One Hiding is a good singer. Songs are good. And when that song is sung, Beast Monokuma goes crazy. But when the song ends, Beast Monokuma overheats. Kablooey. New technology can be sketchy at times, huh? That's okay. Oh, that's a tutorial. <laughs> it appears the Beast Monokumas are tr controlled by the children's song. That's troubling. Yes, it is. So I gotta find the Iron Maiden to find the child. All right, so we gotta find a child. Oh god, I gotta follow the singing. <laughs> this is freaking so wacky gameplay, man. Oh god, you gotta we gotta watch out for Dog Monokumas. They're the one that killed the freaking Chihiro's dad last episode. Oh hey, 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 hey! You were supposed to be. This was safe. This is a what safe are you room. Doing, Off limits. Idiot, Off limits. My God. <laughs> they dance. Oh, they're actually really good too. All right. God, these ones are scary. Okay, they're not turning around. Oh my God. Who is like? Where's the kid? All right. So she's explaining why she's afraid of the dark. The reason I'm afraid of the dark is because of an experience I had locked up in a dark place. <laughs> Oh, you did something bad, so you got locked inside the closet? That happened to me as a kid, too. It's narrow and dark. Read the room, Kamaru. It's probably worse. Don't mess with me. This is me we're talking about. My story is way more traumatic than that. I was locked up at a place I didn't even know for three days and three Aww, nights. For three this days? Is the worst. And not even a crumb of bread to eat. Ever since that, my mind connects dark and trauma. Ooh, okay. Well, that, that wouldn't do it. <sighs> just thinking about it now gives me goosebumps. Um, Why were you locked up? Uh, I remember, remember you was just. Sorry. sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Oh, okay, well, I, I don't know. Something bad happened to her. Yay, we can leave now. Oh no, a coin. Now I'm tired. It's a good thing we got out of there okay. But being trapped in that sudden blackout? What's with that? It's those brats, obviously. They found out we contacted Future Foundation somehow. That's why they interrupted the communication. After that, we... We really won't be able to contact Future Foundation ever again. Will Makoto come save us? Like I told you, he can't. If Future Foundation shows up, Master will be in danger. But what about me? Is it okay that I'm in danger? I'm just a regular girl. <laughs> I'm oh, not part of Future again. Foundation or Hope's Peak or anything. Yap all you want. You can't change the fact. Toko, what you said earlier, you weren't serious, were you? I'm sure she was, dude. What do you mean? You said you were going to kill me. If you're going to just go ahead and summon Future Foundation, I will prevent it. So you were serious. That's right, I am serious. I will do anything for the sake of my master. So you'd even kill your friend? What? Friends? Did you think I'd feel differently if you started using the word friend? Don't even it, try. We, nev we never I even been friends. But, but that's horrible. I didn't mean it that way at all. I really, I really do trust you. Hm. Why, why is she so connected to Biakia anyway? And then anyway? Hendrix himself came to my life gone three times! In my dreams anyway. <laughs> He has gold teeth. I just realized that. I don't know why I never caught that. What? You didn't think I'd still be talking? Well, guess what? I'm still talking. Hey, by the way, when is that meat party with the pool of blood and hell gonna start? What? This is gonna be a once in a century event. I'd go even if I had to pawn off my wife for a ticket. So you have a wife? <laughs> Massacre! Bonsai! M to the A to the motherfucking Sakura! <laughs> oh yeah! Massacre, what an awesome word! It's downright So magical. he's definitely bad? <laughs> it has a great ring to it, a beat to it, the beatbox beating on my heart! <laughs> oh, it took off his eye patch, he's missing his eye, it looks like. So yeah, anyway, Hendrix was like, hey. How much longer are you gonna talk? They've just been sitting there hey, the whole time? You can't stop me! I'd kill you! My fans would kill you! Well, maybe I just have to win you over! Should I go help a granny cross the street or something? Cheese and dejected into my witty banter! You high bastard! Horrific idiot! <laughs> Never mind, just be quiet. Oh. <laughs> you don't I say that. I figured it would be a good idea to ask for advice every once in a while. But I guess not. He may be our advisor, but I really cannot stand all the noise every single time. We already have great ideas for hurting the adults, so we can get rid of him if we want. We've already lost so many of our friends. Let's just keep him in silent mode, hmm? Well, so they can, like, stop him? You're so nice, Monica! In that case, I have no objections! 
If Monica's fine with it, so am I. Now, let's hear about this plan of yours, Nagisa. How are we gonna annihilate the Resistance? Simple, really. We crush their secret base. Huh? Did you find out where it is? Yes. If we ambush the place they believe to be safe, they will panic and be flushed out, oh. like ants who've lost their nest. They will wander aimlessly above ground, and in that weakened state, we crush every last one of them. The resistance dies with them. Ooh, Nagisa! How vulgar! If you weren't on our side, I'd totally pee my pants in fear! Of course, we have every right to kill them. They've quite earned their fate. Yep, yep, right! As expected of our new leader, you sure have a good plan, Meow. So how do you like... But instead of so right to there. kill them, we promised Big Sis Junko that the Warriors of Hope will annihilate the demons. Woo! Woo! Nagisa and Monica are so vulgar, so cool. There's no way I can lose now. I gotta work hard and hunt, hunt, hunt down those demons. <laughs> Even though our team is missing a few members, we're really getting pumped up, right? You guys think so too? Oh, for sure! I agree so oh, no. hard my nodding it's, it's like a month. Bang. Coming up with that bitchin' plan all without your advisor? You sure have grown! Whoops! I didn't mean like grown like in the adult You don't use way. the G word you around here. You guys wouldn't like that. It's like complimenting a ninja for standing out so much. Whew. That was a close one. Damn close! Hey, why are you talking? Monica didn't give you permission. Aw, be easy on me, Nagy, sir. Monica Nagy. brought it up. Didn't you hear her say, you guys think so? Obviously, I am included in this. Right, Monica? Hmm? I didn't mean that at all. Dun, dun, dun. Hold up. It's true that I may have chatted just a little too much, but talking is like my whole purpose in life. If you tell me to shut up again, I'll die! Die, I tell you! Probably, definitely, no, seriously! Well, he's definitely really <laughs> annoying, like, yeah. Please, you're hopeless. Fine. Just keep it down, okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna say thank you. Ah, oh, gee. I sure hope there's no one in your group that can read mine. Don't want to say a lie that's gonna get sniffed right out. <laughs> oh yeah. Seriously. Hello. Oh, there I he is. For being late again, everyone. He's gonna come over and say something creepy again. Hey, hey, hey! Where the hell have you been? You totally missed my hilarious dialogue. I was running an errand for a Miss Fighter. It sure was difficult finding sweet chestnuts. Are these chestnuts properly peeled? I'm sorry? No. Why? What are you, nuts? Mm. This is downright nuts! I asked for peeled nuts! Unpeeled nuts are like a completely different food! Ah, as expected of the great Miss Actress, your orders are quite detailed. Hey, even if you're our servant, you keep bringing up ancient history, and I'll kill you. So she's an sorry, actor. Sorry, sorry. I'll peel the nuts for you. Forgive me. Guess I have no choice. I'll forgive you. Not! Got him. Take this! Take <laughs> this! Useless servants deserve to end up like this! This is not a picture. This is not a picture. This, this, is, not, this is not a picture I need to see. Like, just no. No. Like, Duncan Rumpa, do you know what you're doing? Do you have... Do they know what they're doing. <laughs> good, good, go for Please it! Stop. <laughs> this is troubling. I prefer salty things to sweet ones. Dude! <laughs> stop it, game! I don't want to hey, see that. Where? It has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me? You've got some nerve saying that while doing nothing on your own. Nothing? You think I've done nothing? It's true that you've saved me a lot, but Ooh, are I've they been splitting up now? You know? Besties Saying splitting up? I haven't up? done anything? That's too far. <laughs> what do you want? You want me to praise you? You want me to say thank you? Too bad. I've never praised or thanked anyone my whole life. Except for and Biafia. that's why you don't have any friends. Ooh. What? 
Leave me alone. I... I like being by myself. Rather than tagging along with someone like you, I'd be better off dying a solitary death. Someone like me? Meaning what? Someone who always has an excuse. A coward. Using that word normal as an excuse? Always getting help from others? You're the type of person who always says, there's nothing I can do about it, right? You are nothing like your brother. Well, it's not like I really acknowledged him either. Fine. Yeah, prove her wrong. Where are you going? To find Shirakuma. You can go back to that dump if you want. It won't make any difference. Better than being here. She's following her? You don't what? have to come with me. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I have my reason. That doesn't make any sense at all. Well, I can cut the tension with a knife. Today's scrub of the day goes to Pancakes and Nigel. Guys, be sure to smash like and give your mom a hug, and I'll see you scrubs in the next one. This episode was way better. Really enjoyed it. So, yeah, until next time. Bye now.